it's a rare skill for a fighter to be able to stand in the pocket and avoid taking significant damage. But if you watch the film on this young fighter, that's exactly what he's able to do. He frustrates and exhausts his opponents, and he stays pretty relaxed because he's so defensively sound. He uses movement and defense to set up his offense. Consummate sticker and mover. He gets his head off of the center line, and even when you think you have him in a compromising position, more often than not, he's able to swivel that head and get out of harm's way. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least at this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy wants to that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because it's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him. And eventually, you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him fight that knowledge. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Merciless. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight? one. Ready. Go All right, so here we go back in one of America's most underrated sports cities. Good to have you with us from Houston, Texas tonight inside Toyota Center. And this is the site of one of your biggest and, and I know most signature wins of your career against Gus back in 2015. One of the biggest fights of my life when I beat Alexander Gustafson at UFC 192. When I retained my championship, one of the hardest fights of my entire life. The Toyota Center is a great fighter. Oh, nice. And look at him attack in the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his shoulder. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards his opponent and back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And you, you just spilled your popcorn right, all over I the broadcast table. Absolutely, did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Mm, that was nice. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Under two minutes to go in the round. Using a lot of good movement. He a lot of fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Beautiful submission attempt here. Got it very tight. This is it. This has to be the end. And there's the tie! the finish. What a fight! What a fight! Absolutely.
absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 53 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Ren Master. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.